All right, today we'll be covering the shotgun cannonade mod on three weapons. We have the Strun Prime and Karn on the Kuva Heck and the Corinth Prime. Now, the reason I'm covering all three of these is because each one feels different with the mod and they, they all feel very nice to use. Each build has, uh, well, three options. You can get three for this one, three for this one, three for this one. I will show off the builds for each one, and then you'll see a collage of me fighting each enemy type with that gun so it is easier to uh, see how the weapon acts before we go to Steel Path. So, hope you guys like that. Tell me in the comments if you do. I'll see y'all after the... Uh, builds and collage are shown off. All right, so the first one we'll be showing off will be the Strun Prime build. So when it comes to the Strun Prime build, we have three. We have Corrosive, we have Corpus, and we have Infested. When you see my Riven, it's an okay Riven. Just replace this with Shotgun Savvy. That's how you replace it. This one basically covers Corrosive and Heat using Primary Merciless for the extra reloads because Strun reloads quite slowly. Pretty bog standard using Semi Shotgun Cannonade. The Corpus one, same thing as I said for the previous one, except this one now goes Pure Toxin, but still uses semi shock and cannonade and it uses prime uh, cleanse corpus. You can easily replace this for whatever mod you see fit. It's just what I slapped on because I originally had hunter munitions. And I was like, eh, it didn't really fit that well. Finally, we have the infested where we run a heat build with savvy hell and cleanse infested. So hope you like the builds. I'm now going to go ahead and get all the kills with the gun. And just a little bit before I start killing, uh, each one of these will be following the order that I showed the builds off, so you can easily compare them to each build that gets shown off. So let's go ahead and see how the corrosive one deals against armored enemies. All right, and next up is the Kuva Heck. So my Kuva Heck is toxin, so sadly for the infested, we'll be having to run gas. So we have incendiary, incendiary coat and uh, contagious spread using galvanic acceleration and primary merciless. Pretty bog standard build, just change my heck to anything that you like. So add more multi shot, add more crit chance, or say you want to run another element, go for that. Corpus, same thing. So now we're using prime cleanse corpus while this one's using cleanse infested and this one's using merciless. Finally, for the Archon and headshots, we're using primary deadhead but we're also using Atomic Fallout and Corrosive, again with the Riven, but replace it. Same builds roughly around the board, so let's go ahead and get into the killing. All right, and finally we have the Corinth Prime. As you see, I don't have my Riven on here because mainly I couldn't find a spot to put it, but if I could, I would have. So we first have Armored, which uses Galvanized Hell, Gal Galvanized Savvy. We use Corrosive and Heat using Semi Shock and Cannonade, Ravage, Charge Shell, use uh, Primed, whatever mods you like. Corpus, we have Galvanized Hell, Galvanized Savvy, basically the same thing, except now we're just running Pure Toxin and we're running Shock and Elementalist. If you want, you can run um, uh, Primed Cleanse Corpus. I would, but I kind of like Shock and Ele Elementalist just a little bit more to help with the Toxin. And then finally with Orokin, we have viral since now they are weak to viral and based off my testing you really don't need the armor strip on them because it kind of just kills them instantly so let's go ahead and show off the killing just like i said All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. That was all three builds for each gun. Now we need to decide which one am I gonna to take to Steel Path. Now I've decided that I'm not gonna take the Strun because I already have a video on the Strun. And when it comes to the Kuva Heck, the Kuva Heck more excels at dealing with Archons than it does with anything else because, well, it's a, it's a heavy hitting single target weapon. Hence the uh, secondary fire sending all your bullets out in one go. So in the end, I think I'm finally going to use a weapon I didn't like for a while and I'm gonna take the Korth to Steel Path and showcase off the uh, one of the builds. So I'll see y'all in Steel Path. And here we are in Steel, Steel Path. So I brought the uh, Corinth, I brought my pet, and I brought Jay. The reason I brought Jay is because, well, she is basically my gunslinger now for most things other than, say, if I want to bring Mirage or some sort. As well, the reason I brought my pet is because he applies a ton of statuses, and since we're using Galvanized Savvy, well, it's just going to take full advantage of that and just make sure everything dies just that much faster. It's just a perfect addition to the build. On top of the reason of using Jade, her Aphanium Eyes causes that armor strip, so it just makes the uh, Corinth just that much stronger in case an enemy does somehow have too much armor, even though uh, they've scaled back all the armor with the uh, changes. 
But obviously you didn't just come here to watch me run around and do basically the same thing I did in the simulacrum. So if a Exilus, Exilus and Eximus spawns or the Acolyte spawns by the time I'm complete with this mission, I'll make sure I get that recorded and show it off to you. So see y'all then. Speaking of the devil, Ryze and an Eximus spawns. So how does it kill him? I missed 1.3 million. I'll say that's very, very good, especially since, well, I covered in a ton of elements. Hell, that was a 1.4 million right there. 854,000. As you can see, the gun does get really well and, and high into the damage numbers. It's not it's not that lackluster. It hits quite hard, does damage quite nicely, and the uh, grenade also kills, which usually, uh, as I've noticed in Steel Path, this grenade usually can't kill, so it's at least doing that for it. Ow. As you can see, once I reload, I'll fly up. As you see, it's not doing that bad of numbers, and since it does apply a blast proc, they do eventually explode. So I'll come back to y'all whenever I get the Acolyte to spawn. All right, and the uh, Acolyte has spawned. So let's see, who are we fighting? Ooh, Angst again. So let's see how uh, this weapon handles against her. So where is she? Oh, there she is. So let's do the let's do the grenade first. Grenade does quite nice. Now, what about the actual shot? Not bad. Obviously, if I didn't miss two shots, she would have died even faster. So as you see, the Corinth does quite well with Shotgun Cannonade, and so did all the other weapons based off the uh, showcase in the Simulacrum. And hell, uh, the Kuva Heck, we've always seen that it does quite well on Archons, and when it comes to the Strun, Strun Prime has always been really good, especially with the Incarnon. But I'll give my final thoughts on all of the uh, weapons and the mod whenever we give it to Orbiter, so I'll see y'all in my Orbiter. So overall, what are my final thoughts? I think Shotgun Cannonade has made a lot of shotguns even better than they already were. Strun Prime already hit like a truck and now it does it even better. Kuva Heck was already really strong against Archons and now with this mod being better than Prime Point Blank, you can slap that on and override it and do even more damage than what you're already doing. With the Corinth Prime, it's actually turned into a weapon I enjoy using because Shotgun Cannonade is also buffing the uh, air burst grenade on top of just the buckshot so it makes it just that much better so overall do i think people should use it yes it is a very very good mod so i hope you guys did enjoy that video make sure you guys hit that uh like button and subscribe so you get post notifications as well by hitting that bell so you get notified whenever i post another video and make sure you guys comment in the uh, comments what guns you want to see next what mods stuff like that because i do enjoy reading y'all's comments everyone's really informative and i like making sure everyone gets correct information Especially whenever people correct me in the comments, it's nice. I don't mind it at all. So, see y'all in the next one. Peace out.